Hi everyone, this is Anne. I hope you're all doing well. Today I have some beauty product empties to share with you, and these include makeup and skincare items. I always find empties very helpful because once somebody has used an item completely, they have a really good idea of how it works, if they like it, if they don't, if they've noticed any results, and if it's something that they repeatedly repurchase or not. So I hope you find this video helpful. As always, I'll put all the product links down beneath this video in the description box in case there's an item you want to go on and read more about. Since I haven't done an empties video in about 10 months, I do have multiple empties of some of these items, so I'll just show you how many I've gone through in the last 10 months. Starting out with skincare, I have three empties of my very favorite facial scrub. This is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Scrub, and this has 3% glycolic acid in it. It also has sand-like particles. It does a great job of removing dead skin cells off the surface of your skin to reveal smoother, brighter, more even-toned skin. And I like to use this in the morning before I take a shower. I just apply a little bit to my face, my neck, my upper chest, and the backs of my hands. And all you do is work it in in circular motions and then rinse it off. And by far, out of all the facial scrubs I've ever used, I think this one is the most effective and one that I always repurchase. Another skincare product that I have multiples of in my empties is by Florga. Florga is a French skincare company, and this is their NCEF Intensive Regenerating Serum. This is the very first time that a topical product is equivalent to mesotherapy injections, and the NCEF formula contains 50 different actives which include vitamins, minerals, amino acids, coenzymes, and antioxidants, all of which are used in mesotherapy injections. And this serum helps to reduce wrinkles, it helps to brighten the skin, it regenerates the skin, it evens the skin tone, and it also increases skin elasticity. Whoa. <laughs> I like to use this serum at nighttime after I've cleansed my skin, removed my makeup as my very first product on. And this is a great product. I would highly recommend it. Another product by Florga that I have multiples of in my empties is their Nutrifiller Lips. And one is older packaging and then I believe the black packaging is their newer packaging, but it's the same product. And this is a lip plumping, regenerating product. This has the NCEF formulation with the 50 different actives in it that I just talked about in the last product I showed, which is their mesotherapy um, serum. It has the NCEF. It also has peptides to help build collagen within your skin, which will help your lips to be plumper and fuller. And then it has shea butters and some natural oils to help moisturize your lips. And I have been repurchasing this for so many years. I love this product. It doesn't burn, it doesn't tangle, and it's a great one to use if you use your derma roller on your lips. You can use this right after to help build collagen, but you don't have to use it with a derma roller if you don't like derma rolling. You can just use it on its own, and it's a great product to help build collagen for fuller looking lips. For my makeup remover, I've been using Bio Oil, and I finished a small bottle of it. I liked it well enough that I went ahead and purchased the larger bottle of it. And this is a blend of natural oils. It helps to even the skin tone, smooth the skin. It helps to improve the appearance of scars and stretch marks. And I've been using this as my makeup removing oil at nighttime and it does a great job of removing makeup, including waterproof mascara, very quickly. It also helps to condition the lashes, and I know a girl who uses this as a makeup remover, and her lashes are so long and pretty, and I asked her what she used, if she used a lash serum, and she said she just uses this to remove her makeup at night. So, 
I started using this. I really like it. It does a great job of removing makeup. Another skincare item that I have multiples of in my empties is by Eucerin, and this is the Daily Hydration Cream with Broad Spectrum SPF of 30. I love this cream. It absorbs well, it moisturizes really well, and then it has the SPF of 30. I like to apply this in the morning to areas of my body that might be exposed to the sun, my arms, my upper chest, my legs, and I also keep one in the car to apply as my hand lotion as I'm driving to protect my hands from the sun rays. And I really love this lotion and would highly recommend it. Moving on to a few makeup items, I have my very favorite primer, and this is by Peter Thomas Roth. It's his Skin to Die For primer. This helps to blur the skin. It helps to fill in any pores or lines and wrinkles. It has a mattifying effect to it so it doesn't get greasy or shiny throughout the day and it really helps to hold your makeup on and make your makeup last all day long. I always repurchase this one. It works great with more mature skin and I would highly recommend this. I finished another of my very favorite tinted moisturizers. This is by It Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Foundation Tinted Moisturizer with an SPF of 50. I wear mine in shade medium and this is more of a full coverage tinted moisturizer. I just use one pump of it and that is enough to cover my face, my neck, and a little bit of my upper chest. It has the sun protection, it evens my skin tone, and it gives a very natural skin-like finish. So I love this. This is primarily my foundation that I use and would highly recommend this. My last makeup item is by Neutrogena, and this is their Mineral Shears Powder Foundation. I wear this in shade 60, and what I use this for is after I've applied my IT Tinted Moisturizer, I will use this kind of as a setting powder just on my T-zone, and it does a great job of just giving a really pretty smooth finish to my skin without making it look overly cakey or makeup-y. And I also can use this as a concealer around my eye area and it works great. So this is a really good powder foundation, especially if you're over 50. It gives a very natural look and it's not overly drying on the skin like some powder foundations can be. So I like to use this primarily as a setting powder, but you can use it as your foundation as well. And I have done that and it looks really pretty. So this is a great product that I do always repurchase as well. If you've tried any of these products, I would love to hear your thoughts on them down in the comments section. If you've never tried any of these products, I would highly recommend them. They're all great products and ones that I repurchase. Thank you so much for watching and taking a trip through my trash can with me. I truly appreciate it.